Perfect. My name is Rafi Mediavilla from Critical Logosa. Com coming to you guys live from San Juan, Puerto Rico. So oh my God! <laughs> so, yes. Congratulations on the on the on the series. I absolutely loved what I saw. I was really excited to see um, what you guys did down here. So I think my first question has to be, uh, and a fourth question: How did you guys survive the heat and the humidity and our beautiful island? Uh, Christine, you first. Well. <laughs> I would say that we, sh we shot a lot in Monagas and Monagas is so beautiful, but very difficult to shoot long days. in just because I don't, it's so humid. There's so many bugs. There's like all those muddy Hills that look so good on camera, but then our crew is like lifting giant equipment up there. Um, and those days were definitely brutal. But then on weekends, we took a couple hikes to El Yonke on very hot days and swam around in the waterfall. And it was like, it doesn't matter. It was the most beautiful It was like really um, healing and beautiful. And I think my favorite part of, of being down there. That's cool. William. And there were a lot of favorites. Go ahead. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Um, oh, well, like, yeah. Look, El, El, El Yonke was like one of the highlights of my life, the things that we've done. Yeah. Uh, it, uh, it, it was magic. And, uh, um, and so, like, that, that, was, that was great. And, you know, like, shooting, shooting down there, like, Monagas was, was really tough, but there was also, like, We were on the beach a lot, you know, it's, there's, there's a lot of stuff that was pretty dope. Um, and also just kind of hanging out in San Juan. Like once we, yeah. we sort of got the lay of the land and figured out like where to go and what we liked, it was uh, like a, a sneaky cool town to, to hang out in. And, uh, and honestly, it's like, I mean, I, it's like, we're both New Yorkers. And so there's like, There's a lot of the attitude of, of San Juan feels similar to the attitude in New York. Yeah. Florida. So it's yeah. like some of that was kind of familiar. Let, let's talk about your characters, Anoa and Emma. Both of them are really different. And I think that's, that, that's, that's, how, that's how my relationship works. But I see Emma in this mystery being more forward than Noah. Noah is just hanging out. Uh, it's just like, she, she, she's just like following Emma's lead. What, uh, Christine, what is Emma trying to prove with solving this mystery? Um, well, how many episodes have you seen? Three, two? I think I've seen like four or five, maybe. Whoa! Five, six, <laughs> I don't know. Oh my God. So many okay. stuff that I... Don't give it too much away, obviously. Um, I think that what is interesting is that the way in which these two people approach this situation is also very reflective of the dynamic in their marriage that is very old and like rooted in love, but that I think has like reached a breaking point. And I think there's a lot of like, Noah feeling like he's walking on eggshells around Emma and Emma getting mad that he's doing that, but acting in a way that he has to like, and I think that sort of follows them through even how they, I don't know, attempt to solve the disappearances of those kids. And like, um, I think she is in such a, a place of pain and a place of regret and they love each other so much, but they're like holding on to something that is getting harder and harder to hold on to that. I think they just blindly throw themselves into this thing. Um, maybe not even realizing that, that it's a way to jumpstart things. And obviously it like doesn't go as planned. I don't think that was to be anything away. Was that Chico? No. That was Chico. But he, Chico was reacting to the construction. To, before. Yeah. I yeah. his dog. Um, yeah. One final question to the two of you. Um, what, what can people expect from this, uh, this series that has a lot of stuff going on? William, you first. Oh, well, I mean, I, I feel like the, the wonderful thing about this show is that, like, you really never know what to expect. Um, it, it's just, it, as soon as you get used to one mode of storytelling, it shifts to another thing, and it stays weird. Um, so I think it's best to go in uh, just open to the experience, um, much yeah. like we um, and. Uh, and then, you know, hopefully you, you wind up surprised. Christine. Like the people yeah. <laughs> I think you can, um, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. No, I'm like starting to get to the point in the day and we have not been at this day for that long. <laughs> like, 
<laughs> wires are getting crossed. Okay. I think that people can expect a lot of the unexpected and also like <laughs> that I think they have more in common with this story than they would suspect. <laughs> it's a crazy joy. It's a cra- I, I, I love you guys laughing. It's a crazy joy, right? I think that's time for me. Thank you for the, for your time and, and also to thank you for having a fun down here in Puerto Rico. Oh, it's the best. Yeah, we loved it. Yeah. Thank you.